Hey, Jeff Moore of Foul Play Studios here. Um, we've had a lot of requests on how to use these new vermiculation stencils. So, uh, we're going to put this little video up as a how-to, um, show you how easy it is to do. First of all, I'm using a Pache H at about 40 pounds of pressure. Leave your paint a little bit thicker. Okay, real thin paint is not going to work for this. Leave your paint a little bit thicker. I'm using a very dark charcoal gray. I would say mostly black, a little bit of nimbus gray, a little bit of burnt umber. Okay. I'm going to adjust my gun, medium spray. That's pretty good. Another thing, you're going to need both hands to use the stencil. One to shoot the gun, one to hold the stencil on your bird. So I have a block of wood propped up there with a couple of shirts so my bird doesn't move. It's easier if you lean him up on his side like this a little bit. And once you get going with it, you'll see why. Just about like that. <clears throat> okay, you can see where I have the feather pattern outlined there. I'm going to lay the vermiculation stencil down. I'm spraying a little more intense on the edge so my vermiculation fades away. You see that? It's that easy. Here, I'll do one back here. You know, we've had a lot of people say, why, why don't you make the, the stencils out of clear material so we can see it better? Well, that's only going to work for a period of time before you get it all airbrushed. Now, when I'm finished spraying this, I'm going to come back with a liner brush and put some white splits in there. Um, I have that green wing teal is finished right there and that side of the wood duck.